wondering if the mic would pick that up, but whatever. Wednesday. Weeks going by fast, don't they always? Who cares? Big silly things. Or silly big things, if you uh, can read things correctly. Unlike me in the town of, I don't know, somewhere in Spain. Everything here seems to be a uh, um, Alice in Wonderland type type deal. Uh, I don't know why 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 is this road like this? I don't know. Didn't see a dot whatever to let me know the actual town we're in. So uh, maybe this, maybe this. No, Cal Francisco, um, go forward, Strahd, I don't know, just like a badass dude on a violin, well, went too far, we'll never know, there's only so hard you can headbang while holding a violin, so, uh, do what you can, that's a tiny pizza restaurant, Mercano, why does this look like it's a, uh, UFC uh, poster. Those two are gonna fight. What is this place? I mean, it 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 it's Spain because there's the flag, <clears throat> but I don't know where. Uh, I mean, I don't want to say it's you know that region over here where they've had some uh, pushes to be independent. Only the only reason I'm saying is that. Because these flags are up here and they're not the flags of the region. I don't know if that really means anything, but I'm going to go with it. Oh, sorry. I have to stretch. I don't think this is a town hall. And I don't think it's going to say what is the town hall of. Are you like a bodyguard? Or just some dude? I don't know where this is. A lot of mushrooms, though, and it's 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 weird. Tutu kids shop, kids shoes. Okay. What is this? Chow, chow kala, chow hala. Is that like the bread? I don't know. Oh, the mushrooms ended. Interesting minute left how's your week going as it is um the miss sushi whatever i'm going this way because there look like to be a park of some sort maybe this could tell me where we are like sushi right here though um yeah lots going on normal stuff for the channel tried to do a uh hike over the weekend but the trip to get there is about oh about an hour and 30 minutes from where i was that uh then and i always like to go in the morning and there's been an issue at least going back to last year where the mountains i'm just gonna say we're in madrid just because um the mountains around where i live especially in this new the New York State, they seem to get used way more than they were anticipating. This is going back to last year, and I know a lot more people um, this year because of quarantine and not being able to do much in towns. They are trying to kill their time by doing other things. We are in the town of Caliente on the, does it say what this is? The Kyle of Setas. Cal de la Cetas. Just gonna say that's the Mushroom Street. This is a giant. Um, it kind of looked like I'm gonna get back to like uh, I'm gonna get back to punching my mic because I I'm careless. I'll get back to the hiking thing in a sec. But these kind of remind me of those balsa wood models. They would basically models. They were kind of just almost like jigsaw pieces that they would. Oh God. All right, we're that was a bad idea. Get me out of here. That they would 
sell when I was a kid. You can make like T Rexes, tri tri Triceratopses, grasshoppers like that one, but I don't know if they sell them anymore. Anyway, the mountain ranges have been used quite a bit, and there was a concern over it last year about how they're going to plan for that now. You know, more parking, better irrigation so erosion doesn't happen, trash, uh, other things like that. And my plan was to hike the biggest mountain in the state on uh, Saturday. And since I like to go early in the morning, and um, so I can get in and get out real fast and kind of have the rest of my day, combined with the fact that this was about a 14-mile loop as far as uh, hikes go. One sec, sorry. So it was going to take me a long time to uh, actually do the hike. I have no idea where this is. I mean, it's the U.S., although, wait, that was a minimum sign, right? Trucks 45. Okay, so this, uh, eh, I don't know. So I had to get up there super early because it's a long hike. And I was planning on it. I was like, okay. Gonna get up at five, drive, get there maybe six forty-five, hike it, come back down, probably be back at five o'clock, six in the in the evening. Totally fine. Wanted to do it. Plan it that way. All right. So I set my alarm Friday. I mean uh, Saturday morning, five a.m. Alarm goes. I, I actually do the thing where I wake up a few minutes before the alarm and then decide to turn the alarm off so as to not wake up anybody else. Um. You know, get dressed, get in the car, drive out there, and uh, get onto the road, which was riddled with ranches, apparently. I didn't know ranches were a thing in that strip of road. And I see um, a car in front of me, and then there's like a flashing lights up way up ahead, and a car that's parked there. I'm like, interesting. Maybe there's like a fire or something. It's like, well, it's parked on the side of the road. There's nothing around here. Turns out it was a uh, park ranger guy whose entire job was to uh, greet everybody, say, hi, how you doing? What are you planning on doing? I told him, hey, I'm going to go hike. And he's like, all right, just so you know, the parking lot's full. You can park right here, but just know that it's going to be an added one and a half to two miles till you get to the trailhead. And... I decided because I didn't want to end up getting back super late. I was like, you know what? This will have to be another time. And I poorly planned, apparently. I would need to um, probably go on a weekday. There's no streets or anything. The, the, this, this almost makes me feel like this is up here almost Badlands, I'll say. I'm just going to click in South Dakota, see if I was close. That was kind of close. Let's see what this actually is called. Just a grasshopper. All right. Whoa, Naked Man. River Sprint Expo. What is this? South Pittsburgh Street. That is not letting me know the exact state it's in. That flag might. I'm going to go this way real quick. River Spirit Expo. Is this like a uh, um, RV Expo? Josh's Snow Shack. Uh, these are... That guy got his back broken. I believe state flags. Oh man, I think it is, but it's it's not. Uh, it's Oklahoma. I I was like, yeah, maybe it is Oklahoma. Kind of looked like a Starman. Oh. Um. All right, kick greet. That does not help me. Um. Yeah, so I did not hike. I was bummed, very much bummed. I'm gonna have to end up doing it during the weekday. Probably take a day off work because what else am I gonna use my vacation time for? There's 
know where I can go. Uh, and I'll have to do it soon because, I mean, it was 29 Fahrenheit. You guys do the Celsius conversion. When I went to leave that morning. All right, let's see here. We're in Tulsa. Aha. Ockler Homer. I don't think the, uh, the, um, what's it called? Expo is going to show up on here. So I'll just say we're in the, the Cox Business Convention Center. It's, it's, it's very much not. But I got the city right at least. Indoor dump. Awesome. That's got to smell lovely. Indoor dump. I did actually grow up for maybe like six, seven years of my very young age. Lived right next to a uh, <clears throat> uh, open wastewater treatment plant. Yeah, that was uh, lovely. It's one of those things of just, I think I just grew up with it, so I thought it was normal. But, you know, you get the wind blowing a certain way. It stinks because it's just open air poop. He's 21st. So we got some numbers here. I see 20th. This Jamestown, he's 21st. First. What's wrong with my voice? Jamestown. Norfolk, St. Louis. Atlanta, Florence. I don't know if I'm going to get it in time. Oh, there's Pittsburgh. So I think actually we were, we were right around here, weren't we? Yeah, because we were at like an intersection of a River Spirit Expo. Look at that. Let's hit home. I want to nail this in the 28 seconds I have left. There's the intersection. We are right across from the colossal statue of an oil drigger, driller. Drigger? What, what did I say? I guess so. I mean, it's tall. I'll give it that. But uh, does, it, does it have a name? All statues have a name. Here's got the belt of a Tulsa man on you. Interesting. Ah. All right. That was three meters. This looks to be a giant rocket. The Infinity Science Center. This is probably Florida. I'm going to say. Just, I just want to see what this sign says. Does it say I have to have a membership card to get inside? Buccaneer State Park. Yeah, we're, we're in Floridora. Naval Meteorology and Oceanography Command, you say. I think we're down here. Where exactly? Eh, I, I, I don't know. We'll find out when we actually get to it, like a uh, <clears throat> exit. Infinity at NASA. The Mississippi Welcome Center. So we're... We're... we're now the welcome, but why, okay, don't overthink this. You know how to approach this now. So let's just continue with uh, what we we're going to do before. We're at the John C. Stennis Space Center and Waveland. Route 607, <clears throat> clear my throat, uh, back up a smidge. 607, there was a highway thing over here. Interstate 10. All right. Interstate 10, 607. Um, let's see. Pensacola. I don't think so, because I have no reason. <laughs> I just don't think it is. 607, where where are you? Uh, 
Osceola. All right, so we have a strip of road here. Let's uh, figure this out. Hit the sign here. New Orleans and Mobile. So we are in over here, huh? Mississippi Welcome Center, you say. 607 North. I am properly baffled on this. I thought it was just Florida. Why, why is... Mobile is to the east. So we got to be here. Right? I mean... Why, why is this, like, destroying my brain? New Orleans is to the west. Mobile is to the east. So it's got to be... It's got to be here. I mean, it's it shouldn't be, because fucking... US 90, Scenic Route 2, Beaches and Casinos. Ugh. <sighs> I I don't know why this this all of a sudden just took such a huge strange flip. I thought all space stuff was gonna be in Florida. Am I wrong? Find out in a second. Huh. Well there's six oh seven. You were a state off. Barely. I don't I don't need to see that. Oh, the space center's there. Alright, fine. Fair enough. All that time. Thought space stuff was just straight up Florida. This is probably... Well, that's... Roosevelt. Uh, uh, good old Teddy on a horse. Let's see. Um, it's, it's a weird stagecoach and a pony with dude with glasses. I don't know. Will I actually see? What does that say? Like something? Oh, bone. I thought it was bones. I think it's ponies. So this sign tell me road work. Um, there is a, is that a bridge? No, that's just the tree line. That's the speed limit, 50, okay. Uh, this is probably another road work sign, yep. Speed limit is strictly enforced and fines are, these fines, fees, points, whatever it's called, usually are doubled in work zones. Get me to a sign that I can read that will tell me where we are. I mean, I only have one thing I really ask for. South? All right, that's, I don't know, this is farmland. Not going to help me figure out where we are. Let's keep going and try to find a sign that tells me where I am. I've just boiled down, ooh, maybe a crocus in and a blurred sign because Google wants me to Never find out where we are. Uh, W-O. I don't know why Theodore Roosevelt would have a thing in Wyoming. Although, W-Y is Wyoming, not W-O. Dummy. We're on 102 Ave. Although, we're getting up to another potentially creepy thing. Why do they all have huge parking lots for these things? Is this all North Dakota has I mean this wasn't in the Wikipedia for the state when I was uh when I was doing the state right how many months ago was that was that June maybe 
There's, this road is just void of any useful information on it. Everything's blurred out. This truck is just, I think it maybe just has like chickens or something in it. That doesn't help me. This sign, too far away from the road. Prairie Vista bed and breakfast. I mean, it's flat. That's quite the vista. Oh, look, oh, there's half a hill over there. Welcome to Regent. It's an enchanted highway of anticipation. Get me, uh, no. I hate this town already. What an awful, awful <laughs> thing to have to welcome people to your town. Welcome to our enchanted highway. Oh, it turns to dirt very quickly. Don't mind it. Red red clay. Ooh, gifts here. Nice. Dakota Plains. Yeah, this is another North Dakota special. I think we're close to the uh, grasshopper, so I'm going to put us here. I got the state. I think. Ah, I even got the right strip of road. What do, what do they call it? Teddy Roosevelt rides again. Well, you're trying, at least I, I, I can give you that, North Dakota. Anyway, that's going to do it for Wednesday. What a Wednesday it was. And will be, depending on when you watch this. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you have not yet, cooking stuff went up yesterday, along with the first episode of the magic stuff as well. Let me know what you think. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, along with your likes, favorites, comments, subscribes. If you could do any of that stuff, it'd be appreciated. I appreciate you. Hopefully you do yourself. Go take care of yourself. Come back again tomorrow or Friday. Whatever you would like. I'll be here. See you, folks. Goodbye.